Hello everybody, this is Logan Holdaway with Shepherd's Branding and today I want to show you how to create a graphic like this um, that has a sparkle background on it uh, using Inkscape. So I'm going to close, close out of this and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to let's see your view, custom and then with view custom set you can go to um, well actually we're going to go to file document properties and show page border we're going to go ahead and unselect that and if we hit one on the keyboard it zooms into where we want it to be then what we're going to do is we're going to go to view layers and we're going to go ahead and create a layer and call it black just like that and we're going to create a box this is a white box we're going to make it black 90 percent gray down here at the bottom and i'm going to make that box a little bit bigger about like that and uh, then we're going to go ahead and um, lock that block lock that layer by clicking this icon right here and we're going to send it to the bottom and then with that we're going to create another and then what that does is that we can't do anything with this layer and so we're going to go back to layer one we can exit out of that we don't need that anymore we're going to go to the Create Rectangles and Squares tool. We're going to create another box. This one is going to be our canvas right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this box is what we're going to use to put the, um, the sparkles in. And this is going to be our canvas. So in order to create our canvas, what we need to do is we need to select Navy right here down at the bottom. And with navy selected, uh, we're going to go to this fill box right here. This brings up your l fill and stroke menu. And we're going to get a radial gradient here by clicking on that button. And if you hit G on your, back, on your keyboard, then it brings up your gradient tool. And holding shift, I'm going to bring this circle up here a little bit to make this gradient into a little bit more of a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and take the alpha channel and bring it all the way up so it's fully visible. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center of that gradient and I'm going to bring it down to about halfway. And in the middle of that gradient I'm going to go ahead and double click that. That allows me to have another node in here. And clicking on the center of that gradient what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down just a tad bit. Uh, this hue over a tad bit. Um, about like that and I think I like that. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this though and bring this over just a, a well, no, I don't wanna do it like that. There we go. That's about what I want that gradient to look like. So with that, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and start creating our sparkles. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to go to create stars and polygons and go ahead and just draw a polygon. Now I have mine set to corners 3 and the spoke ratio is 0 0.08 and uh, that seems to work fairly well for what I'm wanting to do. Um, and what I'm going to do at this point before we start making that, I'm going to go ahead and I like to kind of create a little bit of a, a color palette that I can refer back to. So I'm going to create a, a rectangle here, duplicate that rectangle by Control D, and then I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard. I can drag that over just like that. And here are the colors that we're going to use. I'm going to do, uh, I don't know how to say that, fascia, something like that. Uh, and we're going to bring that over just a little bit um, on the keyboard to be about like that. And then with this one, we're going to do uh, blue, but I want it to be, let's see here if I can remember, a little bit more like that of a blue. There we go. That's where I want it. About 125 here. 
So these are the colors of our sparkles that we're going to create. I'm going to lighten that up just a little bit. There we go, 122 and 139 for the L um, on the HSL tab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this sparkle and using the dropper tool, I can come over here and select my blue and that turns that blue. And um, we've already got the stroke menu up, so I'm gonna go to blur and I'm going to hit up twice on that, give it a 2% blur. Then I'm going to create a circle and zoom in on this. Uh, I can pan to the left using shift and uh, the middle key or the middle uh, scroll on my mouse and then holding shift and control and at a nine or a 45 degree angle I can go ahead and create a circle at about uh, about that size and I'm gonna make the blur on this quite a bit uh, it's gonna be about 38 and then duplicate that and I'm going to bring this down this duplicated copy with control D is how I duplicated that uh, and then I'm going to make that white and that is going to be our first sparkle so I can go ahead and control G on the keyboard and that uh, groups it all together and we're going to do the same thing to create another sparkle for us so with this sparkle it's going to have four corners and I'm going to go ahead and get the dropper tool, make that purple, and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing here. Whoop, did not mean to do that. There we go. About halfway. And bring that down just a little bit and duplicate. And let's go ahead and turn that white. Now you can see I forgot to put a little bit of a blur on this one, so I'm going to go back and put a blur on that guy. And you know, I feel like that white circle is just a little bit too much. Um, there we go, that gives me a little bit more of a blur. I might go, no, I think that looks about right. You know what, I am going to take this. Control Shift G, ungroup that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a little bit more of a blur on that guy as well. I think that looks a little bit better. Control G, Control G to group those together. And I'm going to make the last of these sparkles. And this one's going to be white. Um, let's see here, rounded, that rounded got messed up, so I'm going to hit zero, make it go back to zero here. And on this one, it's going to be five. And go ahead and set that blur to 2% again. And with this, we're going to take another ellipse tool, or another ellipse, and go ahead and that looks about right. And I'm actually on this one, I want to have a few more spokes on this sparkle. So I'm going to create another sparkle on top of it. Just like that. And this sparkle is only going to have three. And I'm going to go ahead and make that only about one. 1% blur on that one. If we zoom out, it looks a little bit funky. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hide. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and hide that uh, um, spoke on this sparkle using the other sparkle just like that. It makes it a little bit irregular there, which might be, look a little bit more authentic. So there we go. There are our sparkles that we're going to use for our canvas right here. Um, but we're not finished. We still need 
to do another thing here. Um, and what we're going to need to do is we need to draw three more circles. One, two, and three. And each of these circles are going to uh, be the same kind of colors here, but we want them a lot lighter. So, just like that. Make that a lot lighter. And with each of these, we're going to put the blur up quite a bit on those. I've got that at 15. Yeah, we'll go with 15. And we're going to make these a lot smaller. We want to make these the size that we're going to put them on here. So with those selected uh, and sizes down like that, we're going to go ahead and go Control C, which copies them. That allows us to take the spray tool right here and spray them on here. I have my spray tool set at 34. Now we're going to start applying the sparkles on to the canvas here. So it's at 34 and the amount is 3. I've got the amount set so low so that I have a lot of control about where my sparkles go on here. So if I start doing this, I, they'll start showing up on here. Mm -hmm. You know, those are looking quite, they're looking a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up just a little bit more. Bring this one up just a little bit more. And control C, just like that. You can see that when I brought the colors up on these, because these are the copied Ver, ver, these are all the copied version of this. It actually made these a little bit lighter. I can kind of do the same thing if I want to make these bigger. I'll make them bigger on this canvas. So it gives me a lot of control about how I want this to look on this canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and Control C, uh, make sure that that's copied. We're going to keep on applying more of these sparkles on here. You can see that I'm applying more to the center because uh, these sparkles, you kind of want them to group together in some kind of symmetry. Um, if they're completely evenly spaced, it doesn't look like there's much of a, a I guess you could say like a gravitational pull. Um, and so that kind of creates a little bit better of a look if you have them grouped together a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Keep going. As I zoom in and zoom out, they don't entirely show up uh, on my screen until I give my screen a little bit of a chance to catch up. And uh, sometimes zooming in and zooming out helps out with that. Maybe that's different on different computers, but I think that that looks about right. So then with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these sparkles right here, and I'm going to make them a little bigger than these guys. I'm going to do the same thing. Control C, take my spray tool, start applying. And they're starting to show up on here, you can see. Put some more on the outer edges. If you don't like how, like, we've got a lot of blue right here together, if you don't like that, you can come in here and you can move these around as you please. So, that's looking pretty good. Um, I might apply a little bit more of these sparkles down in this area. We've got a little bit of a blank. Our corners don't have a whole lot. Let's see if it'll. You know what? I'm not sure if I have. I have to copy these again, and then hit my spray tool. There we go. Now they're starting to apply. I think that that looks about right. Uh, in order to finish it off, what we can do 
oftentimes uh, having some nice bigger sparkles on there look real nice so we'll go ahead and size this up shift and control grab that corner bring it up control C and we can go ahead and you know I'm gonna go ahead and sp space these guys out just a little bit better got a lot of them together here and I feel like I've got a few too many white ones as well might cut down on those especially in this corner and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this sparkle but I want to make it bigger just like that and that's pretty much it you can kind of give a little bit of a rotation there uh, but you know that's about how uh, you create a nice sparkle on a canvas like that so um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions let me know I'd love to help you out with anything that I can and if you have any um, any other suggested videos that you'd like to see uh, with Inkscape go ahead and let me know in that also in the comments thank you and have a good day